everyone. In this video, we are going to make a t-shirt for a rubber ducky. So how do we start it um, before we starting the t-shirt? Uh, we need to know how to make a rubber ducky. So um, if you go to the Rhino website, which is www.rhino3d.com and you go to download, on the right button, you're going to see level one training guide. So put your email there and then you can ab uh, you're able to download the entire training manual uh, which will look like this. In this manual there's a lot of good stuff right here but what we need is on the page uh, 145. It, it's about 12 page uh, tell you what kind of command you need and you will learn how to pull the surface and make this rubber ducky. Okay? And then after you go through all the process and knowing how to make this rubber ducky, and this is where my tutorial come in, we are going to make a t-shirt for rubber ducky. So that will be something look like this. And also we're gonna make a pro necklace for for him as well. Okay, let's get started. All right, let's start it with this naked rubber duck. Um, when we want to get a t-shirt on it, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, we will need to reuse this surface. So let's go ahead and copy, which is Control C, and pass to make another copy, which is Control V. So you have two surfaces at the same location. And how do I know two? Because I click on it, the Rhino is showing you pink color, and then you will see two surfaces here. So I'm going to pick up one and hide one uh, so we can do some editing right here. Let's take a look on all view. We are going to look at the right view, and I need to decide where the t-shirt, where the hand is going to come out. So I'm going to draw a curve uh, polyline and that's indicate where I'm going to trim the t-shirt and because it's a t-shirt so it's a symmetrical I'm going to mirror this line to the other side okay so all I need to do is have those two line to trim off which is, which is leaving on this icon I'm going to trim off U and U. So I have, let's take a look on the perspective. So I have a surface with two holes on it. Okay. For you to easy to see, I'm going to hide a head and everything there. Okay. Now I wanted to have this areas bigger. Uh, so the neck will come out. Uh, there are two ways to do it. It's really up to you, but um, what you can do is simply to draw a curve and of course you can scale big and small to whichever that fit uh, better look for the t-shirt. Okay, and I can have this one curve to trim off the entire surface which will trim all the way to the back. So all we need to do now is we need to offset this surface. The offset leaving under the surface and you can find offset surface right here. Or you can go into the icon and the second one on the second row is offset surface. Okay. And then you are clicking on the surface, you hit enter. Right here you can choose the distance. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit smaller, let's say um, 0.6 millimeter. Okay. And then you want to make sure solid equal yes. And then just hit enter. Then you will have this shape and let me turn it on where the body was. So you will have this shape. Uh, that will fit into the body perfectly. Let me just change the color so it's easier for you to see. Uh, let me put it into the red color. So now my ducky has a red t-shirt. 
Next, we are going to make a pearl necklace, necklace for this duck um, that's moving into the purple color. Okay. The command we are going to use is under the curve. You have curve from the object and right here you have extract ISO curve. All right. So it will ask you to select the surface and this is the surface we wanted to do and then let me zoom in you're going to see um, a curve and that's on the surface let me turn disable my all snap all right and then you find where you you like to have this curve and you click on it and then you will have this curve okay now we need to make the pearl component which is a sphere so I'm going to bring in a sphere and make sure my all snap is on near is on so I want to make sure it's snap to um, my curve and then depends on how big of the pearl you like let's say we want to do something like this okay all right and I'm going to turn the the t-shirt off so it's easier for you to see so now it's like that I want to make sure it's not my pro is not cutting into the skin of the neck so that is the component right here let's look at a perspective view the command we are going to use is living under the transform you have array and it's called array along curve so this pearl is what we're going to array the enter and then you want to select the path and that's guess i'm kind of guess for 30 of them look like it's too many of them um so i just hit Control z and then i want to do one more time so this is the object and this is the curve and I hit enter oh I'm sorry this is the object enter and this is the curve okay so 30 is a little bit too many and I'm guessing 24 24 is still a lot well it depends on the style you like but um, let me do one more time select this one click and let's say 20 okay it looks right and then where's my t-shirt okay so this is our rubber duck with t-shirt and pro necklace i hope you enjoy the video and see you in my other video soon thank you